creditors are much more willing to lend to businesses that have an address that is separate from their home address. This can be a brick and mortar or a virtual office space. If you choose the virtual office, make sure they give you a separate and distinct suite number that is only assigned to your business. Do not use virtual mailboxes which work just like post office boxes. The difference between a virtual office and a virtual mailbox is that you pick your mail up from a virtual office. With a virtual mailbox, the company will forward all of your mail to whatever address you tell them to. Lenders do not like virtual mailboxes. If you absolutely want to use your home address as your office address, that is fine. Just know that you may not get approved for some credit products or you may not get the higher limits you are looking for. If you have registered your business with one address but now have a different address, make sure you change all of your documentation to that new address before you start applying for business credit. Changing your address means doing so with the state in which you are registered, the IRS, ON, your bank or banks, and any creditors you have already established with.